so here we come uh, on the slide where it's uh, talking about the tcp ip versus udp as you are wise enough to know what is tcp uh, uh, the difference between the tcp versus the udp uh, so just uh, go over this uh, one by one the connection oriented three way handshake uh, i told you it goes through uh, the process is known as three way handshake because this is reliable but the drawback is it is slow it used kind of concepts called sequencing and acknowledgement so it knows that mm, the, the the information that is going to before they going to send information first of all they going to confirm whether they are there or no they are alive or not so they going to use sequencing and acknowledgement then they use the concept windowing basically how much data it is going to send in a one uh, for example if uh, uh, the first packet is sent with the uh, three packets let's say three uh, just let me i can show you with so let's say we want to uh, to communicate between these two computers so first they gonna go through uh, the sync and sync act and act process and then this computer is gonna send one packet and it will receive and it will answer with a two what it is it it is saying basically it is saying that i have received your first packet but i am expecting the second packet now this time this computer is going to send you three when the receiver will receive it will answer with a four it's saying i have received all of your packets until three and i am expecting the four so as you can see from one it has gone to the two packets now now after that it is going to send four five six the gradually there is an increment in the packet and this is happening from where from the receiver end receiver is basically dictating our sender send me more and more and more and more until it will stop it will say that's it enough enough so that concept is called windowing this is also known as the sliding window means receiver has some kind of limitation after that let's suppose this is that only three packages can send and then it will keep sending three three packets until uh, the process finish the other concept is known as par which is known as positive acknowledgement with and the retransmission what if this for example uh, they are sending some sync sync act what if this acknowledgement is failed and you know what is acknowledgement acknowledgement is sent to make sure the sender that uh, it has received the packet okay but what in case if the acknowledgement is failed then what will happen then it is going to use par this is just concept which is known as positive acknowledgement with a retransmission and this you know uh, the sender will uh, wait for some uh some millisecond or second and if it will not receive this uh, acknowledgement it is going to send uh these old packets again so this is known as par why i introduce these concepts because these are very good interview questions they can ask what is been doing they can ask what is sequencing and acknowledgement they can ask even what is sliding window instead of windowing then what is par got it yes good well pa 
could you repeat a little bit, please? I, okay, this is, I agree with Crystal, yes. This is positive. You can type like positive. Acknowledgement with retransmission. Got it? Or you want to understand the concept again for the pair? So is the same thing we retransmit when we have we don't have knowledge? Is it exactly okay. when we fail to get the acknowledgement because sender we have a sender here, we have a receiver here. Sender is sending the information again and again. But what in case and the receiver is gonna acknowledgement send the acknowledgement back to the sender that I have received your packets. Okay. But my question is, what if this acknowledgement is failed at first place? So this is the thing will help, which is path. It will wait for some time. It will means it will wait for some fraction of second. And if acknowledgement is not received, it is going to retransmit the packets, old packets again. How many times is it going to try to retransmit? It, let's say it the first time fails and the second time fails. How many times is it going to try? Uh, it, before it, 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 it doesn't off? depend. It doesn't depend, but it doesn't happen often. Okay. It is in a very, you know, a fraction of millisecond that you, you're not going to aware about this, how, when and how it's going to happen. But this is just a concept that if, if it received to fail the acknowledgement, it will wait for some time to send those old packets again, which is called PAR. Got, got it? Got it. Okay, that's it. And then we have a UDP. As we know, this is the fast. You can consider it like a roller coaster. Okay. Where you need a speed. And you can consider it like a uh, aeroplane. Because when you need to board on a aeroplane, you must need to provide your passport information, your ticket, everything, and then you are ready to travel. But in case of UDP, this is fast. We need to reach our destination as soon as possible. So uh, let's go to the wire chart and I will give you a quick demo how these things looks in a real. I'm not gonna going to give you a training about the wire chart, but just I will give you information about TCP and UDP, how it looks like, because wire chart is another chapter. And this is also add-ons means uh, Slowly and steadily, I will give you like little, little dose about the Wireshark. And at the end of the day, you will be aware enough about Wireshark, how it works. Okay. So you don't have to worry about Wireshark right now. I just keep going to give you a demo so you can have a clear picture about TCP versus UDP.